Hi there, everyone out there, and I'm here with Ollie, Ollie Deeks. Hello, Hello Ollie from Camley Youth for Christ. That's correct. So, yeah. explain to us, well, Camley Youth for Christ. We we have talked in the past, but that was a long time ago. Mm. So we're going to catch up. But I just want you to explain to our viewer about Camley Youth for Christ. Yeah, so we are a Christian youth work charity that work in local secondary schools in the Camley area. So we work in four. Um, we also work what are the schools? The schools are, so we're based at Kings International yep. uh, on, in Watchits, uh, where we have our office and our own youth room, which you've seen, Neil. I've seen there. Been I've been there, there worked there, been volunteered there. there. Yeah, yeah, you have, yeah. Neil, yeah, great. Um, we also go to Gordon's, which is West End Bisley. It's putting you on the spot now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, I should really know. It's only four. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gordon's, and then Collingwood and Thomas Cope. Excellent. There you go. Excellent. And so, but your base is at King's. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Based at King's. Um, and then we work with local churches as well. Um, so we employed six months ago a lady called Katie, who's doing a brilliant job. Um, she's doing a bit of schools work and then also working in two local churches. So St. Mary's in Camberley and St. Martin's on the Old yeah. Dean. And part of that as well, we've just taken over a youth club, uh, Club Dean on the Old Dean Estate. Um, and Kate is project lead in that as well. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's go back six years. Wow. Six <laughs> six years. Um, because you, you're going to be leaving them in December. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll, br- we'll briefly touch on that in a bit. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about your six years at Camden Youth for Christ. Wow. I feel like a bit like um, Eamon Andrews here. Hey, <laughs> uh, Ollie Dix, this <laughs> is your life. Now, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have all these people coming in now. Okay? Oh, <laughs> remember wow. him, remember him. Yeah. <laughs> remember um, sitting on the sofa, it's as well. Yeah. <laughs> And so it works as well. <laughs> so fine. let's talk about right. Six years. You started Camden Youth for Christ as director. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, and you decided to bring your own spin to the job, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so how? how I, mean, it, I mean, basically, Camden, you know, Youth for Christ is uh, is an organisation. Um, you, you described it a bit like a franchise. Yes. Yeah. We're like a franchise. So we are our own charity. We have our own governance. And we do our own accounts and all that stuff. Um, but then we are part of Youth for Christ, which are a national organisation. Um, they're actually international, not just here in the UK. Um, so there are actually 60 other centres like us around the UK. Um, but do we you are meet up? Own. Do you all meet up? We do. We do. We have a huge conference, which is... Um, it was in Black... I like, I like it, was black, it was in Black Conference. 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 Oh, yeah, but, but, but at this huge conference, they have a fancy dress thing as well, don't they? <laughs> a fancy dress thing? Do they have a fancy dress thing? Well, I, I was asked to lead uh, something called Party Bingo. Yeah. Um, which did require some fancy dress. I, I've oh, seen yeah. you in fancy dress somewhere along the oh, so yeah. conferences and oh, things like that. Oh, that was at a youth festival you're thinking of. Oh, I, I dressed okay. up as Barbie. Um, so I had <laughs> yes. a wig on and a pink spotty dress. Um, I rocked it. I really you're, did. You certainly did. But uh, through through this the six years, you haven't been on your own. You've had your sidekick who's no longer here because oh, he's Stephen. moved on. Yeah. Stephen. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you decided that you were going to start getting more up to date using the internet. Yes. So you came up with the Monday challenge, That's didn't right, you? Neil. Yeah, we have, that's we right. Haven't, we'll, we'll find some. We'll, we'll put it into this and we will talk over it. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 first, the first Monday challenge. Yeah. Who came up with the idea? So uh, Stephen actually came up with the idea. I knew I wanted to embrace social media. So this was going back in 2018 and um, knew that creating content was where young people is. So definitely knew the need of it. But I came up with excuses like we don't have the tech, don't have the time, don't have the ideas. Um, So I was always kind of a bit of a no. And then Stephen was like, come on, we know we should be doing this. Let's just do it. We'll do something really simple. We'll just film uh, film on our phones yeah. and and just get it out there um so it was really Stephen who who was the uh the catalyst for it starting and then over time we've just we've built it up we've improved the um the quality you know getting some good audio and and cameras but for for ages i was just recording on my phone editing on on my phone and that was it um and then over time improved one percent and uh, yeah we got it to a fairly i think okay yeah. level <laughs> because it's got to the stage now where basically you, you actually do talks on, mm. on the internet and, mm. and and youtube and stuff like that in, mm. in uh through uh you know the, through christian organizations and yes. things like that yeah, yeah so and how they can uh how they can use it yeah i mean does anyone else do like a Monday challenge or have you have you seen various copies yes. of what you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so people have, have taken on doing challenges and kind of copying us really, um, which is great, I think. Cause, yeah. um, you know, I'm very much 
I want it to be local in Camberley. You know, the reach gets further than Camberley because that's just what it's like on the internet and stuff and um, putting content out there. Um, but yeah, so if other people can do it in other local contexts, then I think that's great. And for me, the impact has always been going around school and young people mm-hmm. talking about it with me and like saying, you know, asking me questions about it or, oh mate, I saw your video, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so what, what is the worst challenge you've ever, you've ever so done? So I have been sick. Uh, really? On, on a few, couple of the challenges um so were they, probably, food, were they food ones were they yeah yeah they were food ones this was going back a while ago it wasn't a great challenge but Stephen bought loads of bread bread rolls okay and we had to just see how many we could eat and it was oh, that was because so they that expands in your stomach doesn't yeah, it? it yeah it does yeah. yeah and also the sugar because they were from costco they were nice uh, um and it just, yeah, the, the sugar was, oh, it was awful. It was really bad. So I didn't like that. We did a sprouts challenge as well before. And I do oh, like no, sprouts. No, no. Oh, is, is, that, is, that, oh, is that because the Vicar of Dibley? Yes. The Vicar of Dibley was, challenge, it was, yes. It was reference to Vicar of Dibley, yeah. Um, and yeah, that was bad. Um, the Sprite challenge. Stephen was sick on that one, which was brilliant. So you just have to neck. And this is all filmed. This yeah. is all, all filmed. Yeah. And yeah. you try and dive to one side to get out the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should see this bright one. I uh, when he when he was being sick, I put a sick emoji over his face um, <laughs> and and tracked his face, so you can't actually see. We'll him see if we can. Up. We'll see if we can get that one and put it on the put it yeah. on the video. Yeah, yeah. that we. Yeah. Yeah, that would yeah, yeah. be yeah, quite definitely. amusing. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But when not, we, not not for him, obviously, but for you yeah. and for us, it'd be quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> when I first edited it, I didn't edit. I I kept in him being sick without without covering it, and then he was like, "Mate, I think you need to cover that." I was like, "Oh, okay, then I will." <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. There's been some really good, and also you've had guests doing it as well. We have, yeah. You've got um, you've had um, you know your your interns. They come in and yeah. they help. Yeah. Um, especially if like you're not available, Steam's not available. Yeah. They've been there too. Uh, yeah. are, is the Monday challenge going to carry on, but with other people? So we decided to stop it as as Monday challenge. I think you know you get those TV series, and they should have stopped after season three, and they yeah. carried it on, and it's just not the same. So I think we felt with Stephen leaving, I think it's best just to just to stop it as Monday challenge. Um, however, uh, we've got a gap year student with us, Jade, and she's all up for doing videos and stuff. And um, so I'm kind of letting her kind of, kind of stir the regenerate. This. Yeah, yeah, regenerate. So we're not calling it Monday Challenge, but we have done some challenges recently with, yeah. with Jade. Um, but it's the, my focus is more the short form content rather than like a long YouTube video yeah. um, that could be you know five to eight minutes long. I just want stuff that could be a minute or you know, um, yeah, and that's it. So okay. yeah, so we're changing the strategy of it. So you you uh, you've done your six years now. Yeah, six it, years. It's, yeah. A, it's not six years and like bye bye Ollie, is it? It's it's six no. years and then, you know, um, you decide to move on elsewhere. Yeah, but you are still part of Cambridge Youth for Christ. Yeah, You're staying yeah. on as a trustee. Yeah, I'll be staying on as a trustee and a volunteer. Um, I actually, as director, six years, but um, five years before that, I was still a volunteer, and and then I and then I was a trustee before I was director. So I've actually been around the charity for eleven years. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this will be me stepping down as director, but I am staying on as a trustee for the charity. Do you still have a say? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, I, I I I'm very keen not to, um, because when the new person comes in, I want them to be able to make it their own, put their own stamp on mm. things, create a new vision, um, and. Um, so I think part of my role is I'm going to be a support. I'm not going to be like, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. Um, and I want the, the next person to feel like they can they can make any decisions without upsetting me. Um, so, yeah, I've just been writing up my hand over notes. And the first thing I've said is, this is your job. You've been called to this role. Make it your own. Um, I'm here to back you and support you. Um, and if you need advice, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the end of the phone. And also, you need to do an interview with Neil. Yeah, yeah, get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> interview come, with Neil. Have to come on. Yeah. Podcast. Yeah, 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 so. yeah, definitely. But yeah. that's another fiver. Thank you very much. I hope you're keeping track of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, with um, uh, obviously the six years, uh, and, you know, do you feel you've achieved a lot? I think so. I, I hope so. Are they happy um, with you? Are they? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, we've we've improved financially. We've been stable, which has been great. Um, our reach and our work has, has improved. I feel like our relationships in the schools have improved as well. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I have done some milestones and achieved a few things. Um, and, yeah, it's it, like... It's been such a great job and telling the young people has been the hardest thing because their reaction has 
don't leave, don't leave, you can't leave. And then they call me a traitor as well. Oh, uh, okay. That, I get that quite a lot. Um, oh, I but, saw it in the school the other day, wasn't it? Traitor? Yeah, tra- uh. yeah traitor. There he is, traitor. Uh, and the teachers are calling me traitors as well. So, uh, But the, oh it, as I've been told, it's a term, a term of endearment because they're going to miss <clears> me. Yes. Um, so, yeah, um, I feel like I have achieved a a good, a good amount. You can always sort of like be guided by that by the size of your party. You know, yeah. if, if it's if it's right, we're hiring out a room at the back of a pub, or whether or not, or <laughs> are you going to have like a, a whole week of like um, <laughs> a week, a whole week? Yeah, well, the thing is, you know, so many people. You know, that's how they like him, though. Yeah, yeah so you've been meeting, having you know, coffees and and breakfast. You have got to have your breakfast. You could have a breakfast, farewell yeah, breakfast, good, couldn't you? breakfast. Yeah, I think something will be organised. Um, if nothing's organised on your last day, if there's tears, they, yeah. then they're going to miss you. Yeah, and and they kind of break. They can't put a party on. If they're like, see ya. <laughs> it's like, oh, I just have an image of Ollie walking cheers. to walking to his car. Bye. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's an echo. Bye, 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 bye. bye. If it's like that, I'm I'm completely fine with that. I don't want it to be a huge song and dance, but um, yeah, just it would just be nice just to leave leave well. Leave well. He wants are a you, party. So he wants a party. Got, yeah. Party. Are you going to have a, like a little holiday, or are you going to start straight away with your new job? Uh, so I, I, I saved up some holiday. Um, so I'll be having a couple of weeks off because you at leave Christmas. at Christmas, don't you? Yeah, leave at Christmas, um, and then I'll be starting on the second of January my new job. Yeah. So I've got a bit of fresh holiday. new year. Yeah, yeah, fresh new year, new start with the family. So, yeah. Are you going up to Sc- Scotland? Isn't it Scotland? My parents do live in Scotland, but not this year. Not this not year. This year. So we're with um, my wife's family in Wiltshire. Okay, you're still travelling though. Still travelling, yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> and how's been f- a father? Yeah, he's great, Jack. Yeah, um, two. She's two. She's yeah, two? she's turning two in December. Yeah, um, she's great. Um, she's quite clingy, t- clingy to her mum at the moment. Which um, don't worry about it. Yeah, that'll soon change. That means you work too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, no, that's not good. Um, but yeah, she's great. She's getting new words every day. Um, she's and just she's so learning new words. Yeah. What's her new word? She, what's, what's the first one that she did? Uh, the first one was, um, she said daddy really quickly. Oh, which there we was, go. Which was great. That's really, you going daddy, yeah. daddy, daddy. Yeah, because the daddy, mums daddy. always <laughs> try and say mum, mum, mum. <laughs> yeah. And, and then sometimes when you do that, the kid actually says daddy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, to spite him. <laughs> yeah. what's, um, what's her favourite show? Put, I, oh, I, I, easy. I, easy. Go on then. Uh, she loves Padding, Paddington Bear. Paddington Bear. You the, see, but uh, for us, for us, our grandchild, lovely grandchild, he likes number blocks. Number blocks. Ooh. Number blocks. So whenever he comes round, it's number blocks. Number and, blocks. Yeah, and he even he even tells you what episode he wants. Right. <laughs> wow. I know. I've not come across number blocks. It's on iPlayer. iPlayer. Right. Okay. But it's actually really really funky. Yeah. It is. It's really it's really good. Yeah. They, they 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 take stories um, like they did a Back to the Future one and stuff like that. Mm. But it's all educational. Mm, that's great. great. Yeah. I, I love Paddington Bear. Like, I'm such a huge <laughs> fan. Like, honestly, he's so endearing. He, he sees the best in everyone. He gets himself into loads of scrapes. And yeah, he's brilliant. Is, I mean, has Paddington Bear... We're going to talk about Paddington Bear now. Has Paddington Bear <laughs> been re- remade into like, a series? Or is yeah, it? so it's, it's, a, it's a, uh, an animated series. Yeah. Um, half 20-minute, 30-minute episodes. And um, yeah, the, it's, all, it's on Netflix. Uh, there are two seasons, but like each season's like twenty episodes, and it's brilliant. I wonder why the baby's got into Paddington Bear. I wonder why. Mm. Wonder yeah, why? Yeah. <laughs> so I, so I remember Paddington Bear when I was a kid, and they were like cardboard cutouts, and then you had Paddington, who was uh, like uh, like a little puppet sort of thing. Yeah. Well, m- most parents now are into Bluey. You come across Bluey? Yeah. No, we passed Bluey. That, we yeah. passed. We passed Bluey. Yeah, Bluey's yeah. good, but I think Paddington Bear's better. Oh, okay. Which is not a popular opinion. You, yeah, you Your no, might be. He's, <laughs> well, he's trying to get into Fast and Furious now. It's like, yeah. Yeah, this is really good. You'll like this. You'll yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> Killing it with steam over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. It's been great, though, educating on Disney films as well. Oh, love, you get to see all the classics. Yeah. And come up for Christmas, yeah. there's going to be loads to watch. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's and then great. you could do like explained. Now after. having a baby is a good excuse when you go to cinema and she gets older to watch those films. Yeah, so yeah. you the baby. Think as though with Disney, with the Christmas, yeah. as we found out with the Christmas collection, it disappears. You don't have to explain why the film isn't on there anymore. Mm. <laughs> it's like I want to watch it, and it's, you can't. It's not there. It's not there. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, back to you. Oh yeah. So um, <laughs> you're moving on to um, to Guildford. Yes. Yep. You're going to work for school. Yes, I am. Yeah. So it's uh, Christ College in uh, in Guildford. That sounds really. That sounds like University Challenge, doesn't it? Yeah. Christ, Christ College. Christ yeah. College. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's the age range from there? So, similar so to secondary. So it'll be elevens to sixteens. Uh, because I don't okay. think that I don't think there is a sixth form. 
or college, even though it's called Christ College. Christ College, okay. Yeah. And you're going to be de- well, basically doing the same thing what you were doing. Yeah, does, yeah. It does very, that mean very similar? You're going to be using the internet. You're going to be using social media, or is that slightly different? I hope so. I hope so. Um, it depends what my new employer are like because uh, there's a lot of worries of using social media to reach young people. Yeah. Um, and you know, safeguarding needs to be put in place. Um, and so I might need to win them over. Um, which can be easily done. There are a lot of mm-hmm. good practices you can put in place, you know, making it not just one person on the account, having multiple people on the social media account, um, having a, a, a report structure in, progress, uh, in process if someone, you know, messages you about, you know, a safeguarding matter or something like that. So, yeah, um, hopefully, because I, I, do, I do see it's a, a good part of, like, school's ministry, that yeah. you, you're, you're with them in person. But, you know, at the end of the day, young people straight away on their phones on social media. And this is a great way of, of keeping that contact going. Um, mm. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Because, some, you know, a lot, a, lot, a lot of churches, they have a, a, you know, they're quite straight, aren't they, on how they want to approach life yeah they don't have that you know they don't want to move on they like but they like this place it's nice and comfortable we're going to mm. stay here yeah and then someone comes in and goes well i think we should do this and they're like yeah ah! yeah 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 so it it's, like that yeah um you know i you know for obviously you're moving on so mm. they'll be sitting you down going oh, well ollie we need a policy and things like that and you can go well i've got one uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <already written." laughs> yeah yeah so um so the, and the other main thing is do you get an office uh yes i uh, i think it's a shared office okay um does it have does it have a sofa in it and things like so you can relax I don't know if it, yeah. so there is a chapel in the school yeah um which is quite which is a really nice space and i think the office will be in there um, so you're gonna be running services as well or is this yeah probably um maybe once a term to start off with um and it will be starting all that up from scratch and okay. uh, yeah and and doing different schools work and I think one of the things I'd like to focus on is doing stuff for parents mm-hmm. and um, you know having um, some educational things for parents around maybe teenagers mental health and how to support your young person um, you know I think parents I think winning them over will be a real key thing for me to do as well so, they, so they trust me because although you know it, it's very much Christian based what you do yeah you know, you're you are a Christian you know and and you work for obviously a Christian charity and you're going to uh, this new job um, you you tend to focus on uh, like mental health and things mm. like that mm. um, so you know it, it's not that sort of stage isn't really that isn't really a Christian thing. It's mm. it's to do with the child. It's to mm. do with, um, you know, to get them running properly. Basically, mm. yeah. at the end of the day, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, if, definitely. Uh, if they have problems, and it's a, being a safe place, they can go and talk to someone and things like that. Because yeah. you know your pastoral care and things like that. Yeah, um, being is, non-judgmental as well. I think I think that's really important. I think, I think that's what I kind of kind of like about you. It's not pushing church stuff it's just you being like like everybody else yeah you know and obviously using your skills to connect and it's there if they want to kind of go to that next level if they want to get more involved with the church you're there for it which mm. is really nice yeah yeah you know, yeah approachable yeah definitely I'd, I'd my approach is not to bible bash or you know you see these i didn't want to use that word street, no. street, <laughs> 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 you, you can use it that's fine yeah, yeah. This, you can know, i bleep this, that out <laughs> <laughs> the street preachers you know that's not my style i mm. think uh, church should be talked about in the right context. You know, if I'm doing an RE lesson, I'm going to talk about faith because yeah. I'm, I'm invited yeah. to do that. If I'm doing an, an assembly and I'm asked to talk about, you know, uh, Christmas, then of course I'll talk about Jesus in that way. But if it's like mentoring, pastoral support, one-to-one stuff, let's not talk about faith. Do you, I'm do, here to listen to you. Do you get people, when they find out, you know, who you are and, and you're a Christian and things like that, yeah. you know, do they like instantly turn off because they're, that word Christian... Mm. Has, has come up to think oh ollie he's going he's going to start talking about god and he's going to be he's going to try and convert me he's going to you know do do you still get people like that i think there probably is um i think maybe more so people my age that i'm talking to might yeah. might judge me that was always a big thing is like don't judge me before you get to know me so like, i know when you were growing up you were bullied a lot weren't you for your i was bullied yeah i was yeah. bullied for being a christian and um how long have we got to on this <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we don't even go see him again, so let's make make nice of it. Tell you, uh, <laughs> this is episode fifteen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm back on Paddington. Um, yeah, yeah. Now I used to get bullied for being a Christian, um, and I think that was always a thing. I, I people judge me, mm. um, whereas I don't think I am the stereotype of what a Christian is. Um, I'm someone who very passionate about their faith, 
but I feel I hope I like well I like to think that I, I can connect with anyone and everyone yeah. that I take an interest in people that I don't judge them I see them for who they are and value them for who they are um, and yeah that's just always been my approach um, so I, I don't think it has put off many people um, but yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, I think, I think it more like the parents. If the parents are old-fashioned, they might kind of like say, oh, I don't want my child, even though you're not pushing all that. Yeah. You are being just a human being and then they're teaching kind of thing and then mm. they're for the support side. Um, it just sounds like the parents might kind of take a different route But the from thing it. is, though, you're, you're going to a church school, aren't you? Yeah, you're I am. So yeah, I've not done before. A, a lot of parents, I mean, you know, they, they know that's... Yeah, no, that's that's part of it. Yeah. Basically, is yeah, being a you know, I mean, I went to a C of E school and we had twice a week we had the the, the vicar or oh, the yeah. rector come in and we'd all sit in there and they would do their assembly. You mm. know, um, it's because you go to a church school. You know, it's just part and parcel of it. Yeah, so, yeah. So in that way, it's going to be easier. Yeah, because um, my I've worked the schools I've worked in have been state schools, secular schools. So um, I've always had to be a bit more wary of. Um, that people might think, oh, what's his agenda? What mm. was the agenda going on? So trying to trying to fight that a little bit. Um, whereas this time, you know, it will just be that's what they expect. Yeah, because that's it, what they. It's used when to you say. run an activity and you're sitting there in the classroom and like, there's no one here. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done wrong? <laughs> but it's not. It's not just you know. Obviously, that Christian thing. It's, it's everyone. I've, I've run activities and there's like you know one person turns up and it's yeah. like it's it's just the way it is. Yeah. But then but then you can grow on it. Mm. If you start with nothing, mm. you know, you, you're going to grow on it, aren't you? Yeah. Because basically yeah. you're there. Yeah, yeah. And being in the school straight away, there's going to be loads of young people around, so it should be quite easy, hopefully, and then and then build off. Is it, is it a, a mixed school? So is it boys, boys and girls? Yeah, boys and girls, yeah. Okay. Yeah, boys and, scale, yeah, boys and girls. So, uh, which, is, which is fantastic. Well, we wish you all the best of luck. Oh, thank you, Neil. And I would like to say that we would like to see you again. Obviously, yeah. you've, got, you've got half term, summer holiday, Christmas holiday. Definitely, like yeah. So, um, yeah. So I'll still be living in the area as well. Uh, so we're not moving, which was a big part because um, the job was either going to be in a school in Dorking or the one in Guildford. And I was like, if you offer me the, the school in Dorking, then I'll just say no. Um, mm. And very much the one in Guildford, it's 25 minute drive. So it's commutable, which is great. So we don't need to leave. Have you not seen the roads in Surrey Heath at the moment? Well, I have, yeah. 25 minutes. Have you done the trip, though? I did for the interview, yeah. <laughs> but oh. did you do it early in the morning? You know? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're starting next year in the new year, because then Christmas time in Guildford, it's a nightmare to get into yeah. getting around oh anyway. Oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the work. I used to work. I had an office in Guildford for many years, and I used to avoid it at Christmas time. I just couldn't park. Yeah. Even I got there really early in the morning, still couldn't park. Oh, no. <laughs> but okay. Guildford is nice. It has all the lights and everything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so maybe I shouldn't accept accept to this job then. Is that what you guys? Yeah, saying? no, no, no. no. <laughs> We're just trying to pull you back. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's it. Yeah, it's just great for parking. <laughs> it's just the car aspect. <laughs> yeah, why you could always ride, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I need a bike for that. Need, need a, yeah, you would do. You yeah, would get electric bike. There you go. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, electric bikes are within the range. Yeah, yeah. so I have to recharge. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Why? Well, okay. Except for the window sign. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, if you want to sponsor uh, Ollie with an electric bike, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. I just want to say thank you so much to you guys. I think what you guys do here with, you know, the Buzz podcast and everything, e- everything else that <laughs> everything else that you do, Jack, um, is brilliant. And I've really appreciated getting to know you guys and doing these. And um, yeah, they've always been lots of fun. So yeah, thank you so much. That's and we would cover sorry, so Guildford's not too far away. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I'll oh, that's I'll true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We yeah. come and see you. Yeah, yeah. in your office. In the, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, Ollie. I will speak to you soon. Yeah, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lucy Lyons, and this is my debut novel, The Finding Machine, a cosy mystery set in 1998. One morning, Alex inherits a mysterious invention from her late father. The Finding Machine solves mysteries, but it's concealing the biggest mystery of all, the disappearance of a little girl back in the 1920s. But will The Finding Machine bring comfort or uncover a dark family secret? Uh, You can find my book in Waterstones and online at Amazon.